hello guys welcome back to another youtube tutorial in this youtube tutorial we are going to learn about next post and how to use next post so next post is one of the most leading and the most used vulnerability network vulnerability scanner and it operates on physical uh, physical location cloud or mobile environment as well to discover some active uh, services open ports and running application on a network or on a machine and, and uh, Nexpose discloses the result into the scan uh, uh, reports and this also has some uh, the, has the uh, what we say uh, level, levels of vulnerability like medium, high or low so without wasting any uh, time let's get started installing Nexpose is very easy I will take you to the official place so you have to search on google Nexpose installation installation and as you can see over here Nexpose install start uh, install service get started and you have to click on download you can download the Linux installer as well as the uh, Linux installer or as well as the what we say uh, Windows installer as well installing is very easy and also after that now for those of you who don't know Nexpose is a paid uh, paid uh, is a paid software so uh, you get a 30 days trial so with the email you have to log in and get the license key and activate with the license key after that you have to pay some subscription in order to use it and after once you have done installing it on your local PC you have to just double click it open it the run run uh, and click on next 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 then you have to give a username and password which will be used in this login screen as well you have to set a login name and password and then you have to click on login and uh, means then you have to click enter and then you have to install enter the activation key that will be sent to you to email it's very easy to install not uh, not very difficult i will put the installation guide in description as well as the original link of the software to be installed so this is the login page of nexpose over here i will enter my username as well as the password and i will click on log on to here to get started and and as you can see this is the main dashboard of nexpose over here you have some uh, feature icons and over here on the left you have some features uh, so uh, so over here first you can see there is a graph that they have given to get all the uh, uh, to get all the risk or vulnerabilities that have been uh, found that you have done I had done many of them uh, below and then it has found some vulnerabilities and risk so i will show you one option one by uh one by one so this is the home page as here uh, i mean click on it again so, so this is the home page over here you have all the sites that you have scanned and all the reports uh then the current then you have the current scan for all the sites uh, so current scan that means the scans that are uh, that is currently scanning or this the scans that are going to happen in future you can schedule some scans i will show you uh, it uh, here so over here there is a asset group where like for example you have an organization for example google so google in google you can have different assets one for google maps one big can be for google uh, images or different multiple ip address so you, no need to enter ips again and again you can create a asset group so of a of a of an organization that you will scan is uh, uh, that you will scan um frequently and this is the asset tag so over here as i said there will severity as a high low medium very high very low so this is the type of service they have given then we will go over here over here to assets so over here in assets as uh, well in assets we will have all the website that we have scanned so it has classified into uh different categories like by operating systems like like uh so for example you had in total 10 scans or 10 sites i had scanned over here so uh, over here they have given me what um, what was the majority operating system the sites were using 
and over here exploitable assets means uh, uh exploitable uh, means like uh, is there any public so i've done 10 scans okay so is there any public exploit that is available to exploit that asset so it has told over told over here and over here you can see all the scans that you have done or that are in progress so if you click on it you will get all the scans that you have done over here this is for the metasploit uh, metasploit table means over here they have a public exploit and over here this is for the marvel thing uh, ma uh, sorry uh, malware thing and this is for metasploit so if there is a bug so for for example in this uh, for example this in this my ip i will open one this is a earth browser, a earth browser my local ip a web server i will open it let it open and this is all the scan all scan that i had done so over here this is the address of the website this is the hardware it is using this is the operating system it is using the last scan it when it was done the next scan it had done and the vulnerabilities over here is done if you want to add any tags you can add if you want to uh, you can uh, like for example custom tags location owners or criticality criticality so over here they have given again a graph and on this uh, the ip address i had scanned this was the address that i had given in the scans i will show you how to perform a new scan but for your understanding i'm giving this uh, uh, after scanning so after once the scan is done so you will get like this so over here this is for the metasploitable order so if i hover over you can see that this vulnerability can be exploited by one or more metasploitable so you can easily exploit it using this so you don't need to research and over here they have given the solution severity severe critical and all so open uh so, and you can also investigate it for investigating means for example if you found a vulnerability but you are not sure like you have a doubt okay like uh is it really up in there uh, is it really there so you can investigate it so it will do a deep scan of it again and you can confirm whether the vulnerability is present or not for example i will open this uh open ssl vulnerability in my website so uh, i will open this and once i open this you can see this is all the uh details again they have given about this and the exploit over here so if you look they have been to the instant and over exploit so if i click on this link i can open the metasploitable exploit uh over here so i will get the exploit here and i can easily uh, run it on the target command and gain access or exploit it isn't this amazing Till date, I have not seen any vulnerability scanner that can do this thing. So this was about the uh, the what we say. This was about the assets over here. Once we go on the vulnerabilities tab, you will get all the vulnerabilities of all the sites you have done. Only with vulnerabilities. And over here, if there is this tick, like you will get an option. Then this means that. Uh, it can be exploited by metasploitable. I had covered this and if it is not given then uh, means if the exploit is not given then you have to do a little bit research. So over here this is the policies thing. Over here you can create your own policy or select a policy that they have created. There are already rings or uh, lots of policies that are available or it the policies can be given to you by your company as well then there is this report feature so this can be used for creating a report i will also show you how to create a report for example if i create a click on a create a report or view a report you can choose any i will click on new report i will choose the tag i will give it a name for example car i will give the name of the report car I'll choose the form format and how I want the template. I'll choose the document. I will select audit report or any high only high risk vulnerabilities you want to you want to target. So then it's not necessary for me to explain everything. If you can read it in simple English words they have given us. And if you try it by yourself, you get to know how to use it. So I will click on audit report. I will select a scan and i will select this uh, scan over here and select scan okay 
and I will select this can over here of scan. I want to create a report of this and I will create save and run the report. This will start generating the report over here. It will say it takes some few minutes for it to generate the report depending on the configuration of your PC or device. So I've given here the car name and it will start generating it. As you can see it has generated. I'll click on it. And as you can see I have got the report over here. So this is of all the vulnerabilities on the discovered system of the report. And you can see here there is no uh, what you say. What no marking or company highlight like another like over here some watermarks especially you don't have some watermark like different vulnerabilities can have some watermarks in it so that's a good thing I like uh, this was about the reports and then over here we'll go to administrations uh, so if yeah, like if you have different people using this now if you have different people using Nexbo, then you can assign all the functionalities to different people like what kind of scans he can do, what kind of scans he cannot do. So over here you have made a manage user profile, manage assets group. Uh, uh, you can also view general information. You can also change proxy settings. You can also turn out to factor authentication, database settings, troubleshoot, then asset groups, then vulnerabilities policies etc there are a lot of things you can also set up a SNTP notification so for example you have uh, started a scan you wanted it to you to be notified through email whether a uh, led to email that the scan has been completed and this these are the vulnerabilities so it can send you an email so we will require an SNTP server and you will have to do the configuration so this was all about the left hand side so if we go on the top you will have a create button over here will create a scan i will show you this then over here if you want to search anything you can search any setting you want if you want anything you can search here you want to change the administration setting you want to change this uh, policy or you want to search any scan you have then you can do this over here they have created given us a calendar feature so you can mark here some important events or look at the calendar if you want so it will give you today's date over here it will give the notification like yeah, if your license has expired or not my license has been expired I will renew it soon uh, so this is all the notification then here is the help center you can get product guide support API documentation release notes content updates and over here here is my account I'll click on user preferences for you to check it so I will click on user preferences. This is my username, email address. So over here I can put my email address if I want. If you want, I want to change my password, I can change the password. And you can also choose the color thing like dark, light or dark, etc. Site access and all the asset groups, notification you want to configure. So you can configure this as you need this way are very simple and easy and once you have done you have to click on save i'll currently cancel it because i don't want to change any setting so now we will start our how to perform a scan so over here we have to click on create and we have to create a new uh, sorry we have to create a new site okay so over here once you have click on create a new site we will give it a name for example i will give you I will give my website uh, for example my website okay this is my uh, my scan name okay this is my scan I will give you a description like uh, this is uh, uh, this is a scan of my website okay then I will go to organizations if I want you can give your uh this help builders if you want to give any tags you can give any custom tag location you want this is based better for bookmarking of to browse through the settings easily because then because in corporate world you will have multiple scans and to keep a mark of it is very difficult so after in general if I go to organizations you can give a details of the organization or of the entity or of the website that you are trying to scan so that it can be easy for you to keep access of it you can give the organization name their official website their job title their url telephone number business address 
then over here you can uh, give the access to uh, who can access this cat so i have currently one user or administrator so if you have multiple then you can give access of this scan to any other person if i go back to general so this is my website and then after that i will click on assets in assets i have to give the email i have to give the ip address of the uh, of the what we say of the target so to give the IP address uh, or uh, or I, I can also give a domain name so I will give by one of my website which is digital security dot log and I will click enter and as you can see this has been entered and you can give multiple up to 20 addresses you can give and it will automatically uh, remove all these duplicates that you have and also you can yeah, in, uh, include these assets you can also create an asset group or any assets that you have created and uh, it can also yeah, it can also exclude some addresses that you don't want it to scan or asset groups also that you don't want it to scan so once this is done now you have entered your target i will go to authentication so in authentication, uh, if you want uh, the website to log in and do some scanning, you can give like you can add some credentials, like a general credential, like what service, for example, it is in Windows Samba service or SQL service or SSS shell. So if I select SSS shell, then you have to give username, password and p password and all those details that is necessary those when deep into those who are system administrator they will understand it very easily and you can also give restrictions like don't scan this ip or port so manage authentication then add credential you can also save some credential uh, credential as well then in add web authentication as you, you know many website have a login page so you can do that you can select whether it is a html form or http header then you have to give a name then this login url base url like for example i have a xyz website slash login so the authentic base you are sorry xyz uh, uh dot com is the base url so it will come here and the login page should be xyz a dot com slash login that will be login page url so this is the http header if you uh, like in every options like if you go uh if you click on the question mark uh, in the question mark that is in the gray button you can see the description they have written in easy words so it is the best thing i liked about it it may once you open it the next goes might look complicated but it's not complicated it's the most easy thing to use though but i'm not going to add any authentications then i will then the because uh, i want to show you a basic overview then i will click on template like uh what scan do you want to prefer you to picture in the dos attack dinar dos attack discovery scan discovery interviews uh, aggressive scan etc so over here if you want to do everything i'm going to click on full audit uh, there are also full audit without web spider I'm going to click on full audit and also you can create your custom scan template as I said here like you can create your own policy and scan template as well once I have clicked on full audit I will select the engines that I want so I will select the engine below uh, for example if you have a web uh, web based engine you can select that I have a local engine that is my PC it is running so I will select that or in multiple so I know company based environment you have uh, like many computers that are running so if you want to use car resources of another computer or server you can uh, uh you can use that then you can click on alerts so like uh alerts like for example i said you like how we need to if we need uh, so say uh, need to send notification of this we of uh, the scan has been updated we can do that and we can click on schedules and uh, we can schedule it whenever we want it to schedule and once uh, it will get so uh, we can give it dates or uh, the dates or the uh, sorry uh, the dates and how to, it should perform the scans and we can also manage schedules if all, any of them is created we can create schedule by clicking on create schedule we can give the name start date 
start time and also select the scan template you, uh, and also the engine frequency duration and also can manage blackouts or clear, clear the blackouts as well so this was all about this uh, and once you have done the all this setting you have to click on save and scan so once you have click on save and scan it will start scanning it as you can see it has start scanning it will go on the hub base let it complete scanning and we will be back soon so uh, so as you can see guys it has completed the scanning and uh, this all is the website my uh, more modern uh, one that i took that website had some errors so so this was the website that has scanned and as you can see it found one issue in this website okay uh, so this was the well uh, uh, so for in the example we have taken website but it has been modern us uh, because I had uh, changed this scan because it was showing error so uh, once the scan is done you know oh like you will get all the results on this page only of all the scan so I have clicked on uh, one, oh, uh, one over here I have clicked on mo uh, modern here and uh, you will get here all the current scan if it is performing an asset so I have mentioned here one asset I will click on it and and as you can see it has given me the vulnerability it will give me the vulnerability see over here it has given me our uh, certificate has expired vulnerability so this will give you all the vulnerabilities and i had said earlier if there are any metasploitable models that are available exploits marvel kit uh, malware kit or anything install uh, then it will uh, give us detail it will also give us all the services that are currently running on that system database file directories if they have have uh, play around with it you will easily understand how to use it it's not that difficult so this was all about this tutorial if you have any questions do let me know i'm always there to help you do comment in the comment section i'm there to help you thank you uh, thank you if you like this video please do subscribe to this channel and like my video we will see you soon goodbye